I've been asked many times why we don't punch a hole through the earth crust when we are waiting for, for a volcano to erupt. And the suspension actually is making people more worried. It causes damage to the businesses and the time of the people wasted. If we do that, something like this we expect to happen. Suddenly, a surge of the lava from coming from the magma chamber, whatever is under it, and then erupt to the surface. The thing is that such a thing we have done already once. Yes, <laughs> we have dug a borehole, and this borehole has reached the magma, <laughs> and that is the Krefla. Krefla area in the Iceland, there has been uh, you know, a lot of ups and downs of the ground, magma swelling up the ground, then reaching the surface, 20 times magma flow, only 9 times eruption. Due to the extension, of course, the uh, mid-Atlantic reach through the Iceland it passes, and the magma is rising from the mantle of the air, forming the reservoir, then reaching the lower uh, uh, surfaces in the earth crust, and then erupting as a volcano. Krefla fires in Iceland are famous for this. We had a, a lot of eruption from the 1970s to 90, early 1980s, and uh, we dug boreholes into that uh, uh, area, volcanic area. Some of it reached the molten magma. It was liquid in the form of liquid. And we reached there, and nothing like what we expected happened. We uh, actually quenched, means made it suddenly cool down and solidify some of the magma from there. This is a picture of those, one of those X-ray images. And you can see that it's made of some crystals and the rest of it is glass crystals of the plagioclase. And uh, this is a good source for actually geothermal power plants if we can just uh, dig enough into it. There are papers published about it. And commercially, if we can do that, they are 10 times more efficient than the normal geothermal power plants that we have at the moment. Problem with the using this kind of energy is the technical problems. We don't have enough material that can withstand this kind of temperature, 1000 degrees. Tungsten or titanium may be able to do that, the alloys and such things. There are papers published about it, there is even a website, and there are uh, meetings and conferences for uh, studying this case in the Iceland, which is the best example. There are other cases in the Hawaii and Kenya that we can also study. This one is easier, it's already planned, and we have establishment there that actually help us to study this system. So going back to the original qu question, if you punch a hole through an earth crust, of reaching a magma chamber, it will not erupt necessarily. If it doesn't have the gas pressure, the volatiles involved in that, there will not be any eruption. It cannot reach the earth surface. It's a very dense, heavy material. The rhyolite, basalt, and other things that uh, make up a magma, they cannot reach the earth surface. They stay th where they are, and they form the part of the earth crust. This is very common. Not every magma movement and flow ends up into eruption. Eruption happens when there is gas pressure. And when the gas pressure is not enough, the magma cannot rise beyond a certain level. The buoyancy of the magma and the mantle cannot push it beyond that level, even not reach the surface.